Hello guys, you welcome back to my channel. This is Mary New Girl. I'm super excited to have you back on my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're my subscriber, I really do appreciate you. Thanks for always coming back to watch. So in today's video, I want to share something with you. So you know how I've always talked about, you know, uh, going home with your man be with your man if he wants to go home go with him and people would usually or people will always say uh what do we do we're working we don't have time i just feel like people are just giving excuses okay these are flimsy excuses it's just like think about yourself think about taking a vacation and you decide instead of going to one of all those places you go to to go to your man's home to see how things are happening to see what's happening the truth is it's going to bring you closer home it's going to make you familiar with the people and it's also going to you know create that relationship between you and his family because truth is you marry a man and you're not in his life, not going to his home, not going to know his people, not going to know anything concerning him. It's very wrong. And I'm going to tell you this because every day I see women, foreign women who are married to Nigerian men and they are living in Nigeria. I'm not saying go live there. No, do not get me wrong. I don't live in Nigeria. But they probably found, you know, found Nigeria, you know, more whatever it is but they probably are enjoying nigeria and they decided to stay or maybe they went there for holiday but i'm telling you i've seen a lot of foreign women especially in this 2024 living in nigeria and it's to this extent that i'm about to show you a video that i saw of a, a, a white woman who is back home in nigeria she's married to an a woman and she's back home with him i don't know if she stays there long time or if she lives there maybe they only went for a visit but the fact that she went home she's letting the tradition pass through her now that is a keeper that is a wife that is actually ready to get married when i talk about a wife who's actually ready to get married i mean a foreign woman who goes up to home to know his people to familiarize yourself see there is something different when it comes to marriage to a nigerian man or to uh, let's say american men or british men we are family oriented you cannot marry me and not have a relationship with my family it's not mm. happening you cannot marry my brother and not have a relationship with our family it doesn't mm. work that way so if you are marrying a Nigerian man, say you're marrying him abroad with no family integration, you're marrying yourself. You, you as, as saying, you are wasting your time. Now, I saw this video and I felt like, oh yes, this is a good example of what I've been talking about. Why don't I show my people this video so that they understand? So let's just wait. I'm going to show you this video and you just go ahead and watch it. I'll just be in the background. Tell me what you think, okay, guys? Ezengwa was doing Christmas for some of the women in Isofia. <laughs> and they came to thank him. <laughs> if you watch up to here you will notice that they are actually calling her you know how i talked about name calling they are calling her wanyocha wanyocha means fair lady like fair skinned lady so this is what they are talking about actually they are, they are greeting the husband and also sending the greetings to the wife of the of the man the man is supposedly called Ezeuma and his wife Wanyocha. <laughs> 
And they ask me to join the dance. <laughs> so I handed the phone to Ezenwa and joined them. Now, if you're watching this video, you will see a boy just pass. And if you looked closely, you will see that this is the child of the man. And the women went ahead to say that they were sent from the, like, the council of women to come represent, to bring greetings to him, to thank him for all that he's been doing, him and his wife, for their people. And then they brought out their gift of appreciation. Wow. <laughs> Ezengwa was really touched. Now, this is a woman that clearly wants to be with her husband. This is a woman that is married and knows exactly what she's doing, what she wants. She's married to a man. She knows she has to imbibe his culture. She knows that she needs to do whatever it is that as a married woman, she should be doing for her husband. And this is exactly what she's doing, doing the cultural things with their people. So she knows that for her to be accepted, she also needs to do what she needs to do. And this is exactly what she's doing, joining, you know, making sure that she's rapporting, making sure that she's letting the people, the culture go through her. Now, they came bringing tidings, good tidings, greetings, and she was asked to dance with them. And there she goes, dancing. Now, that is a woman who is proud of herself, proud of her husband, and proud of the people that she is with. I'm proud of the family that she's married into. Now let's continue to watch. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As soon as the aunties finished their prayer, <laughs> he came to attack. Hey, Brutus, hey, leave that chicken. <laughs> See, he shook now because of you. <laughs> so, now they came to visit and not only did they come to visit because where we're from especially the Igbos, you don't go to see someone empty-handed if you're going to greet someone you need to take something with you it could be two bars of yam it could be drinks like a hot drink or it could be chicken depending on how rich you are people take cows to go greet people people take goats to go visit or to greet people to pay homage okay so this is what they have they brought him a very big chicken okay so this is what is happening now and they keep talking and telling him how grateful they are how they want to appreciate him for all he's been doing and they not forgetting his wife because everything they say they are keeping her involved in everything thanking her they are also thanking his wife now this is a man who's truly married to a white woman and this is a white woman who's truly married to a nigerian man okay okay let it be known that they are in actually in a village okay like i told you nigerians we all have villages especially for the Igbos, they all love to go to their villages and that's why i told you don't ever think a nigerian man is going to stay abroad while they are abroad they are walking and building their houses when they are done, they go back home. They may not be living in the village. They may have a house in the village and in the city. But the village is the most important one. Okay? So, while they finish their prayers, now the man is also giving his own gifts. Later on, it was Ezenwa's turn to thank them for their visit by bringing out some wine, some cash, and of course, malt. Yeah. 
Oh, no, no, Maka. There's joy in giving and there's joy in receiving. So, there you have it. Everything was done. They prayed for them. They ended by saying, It shall be well with you. To the man, it shall be well with you. To the woman, wherever you guys are going, it shall be well with you guys over there. So they know that you guys are not coming to live with them. But they know also that you have accepted them. That they have accepted you and you are their wife, their true wife. You have been accepted. So imagine if this woman was married to a woman, this woman was staying abroad, refusing to come back home. What do you think? Of course. They need a family integration. And that is why most men, most men who are doing these things, who go home to marry, is because the wives, they refuse to integrate or go home with them. I am telling you. So this is the end of today's video. Comment, share your opinion concerning this. I hope you enjoyed it. Love what I do. Do have a happy day. Do have a blessed day. Stay happy. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.